So today I'm going to show you how to make these delicious wings. We have buffalo, lemon pepper, and barbecue. So if you want to see how I do, just keep on watching. <laughs> So right here I am just showing you guys what chicken I used. I used the wings one just because I didn't have like the already cut one. So we did have to cut these and it made 35 though. So right here I am showing you how I'm going to cut them and where you cut them exactly. So you can have your flat and your drums. So here I go showing you and these are a bit tough to cut. I just cut the first one but after this. I made Tony cut them because he's stronger than me, obviously. And Tony is cutting the wings for me. As you can tell, these parts we are going to throw away and we don't keep these. And you can make it easier for yourself and get these already cut, which I they didn't have any. They didn't have any with this whole quarantine thing, you know, that's going on. You could just, it's crazy. So. Grab what you ever, grab what you need. You know? Yeah, you just have to grab what you need. And so. We just cut them. Chicken is chicken. Yep. And I don't even know how much it makes for this whole packet. This whole packet cost me $9, so let's see how much it makes. My favorite is the flat. What is your favorite, babe? I like turtles. I like turtles. <laughs> wrong answer? <laughs> yes, wrong okay, answer. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I like the drums. Drums, so we're opposites. Opposites attract each other. So I'm not sure if it's the right way to cut them or not, but that's the way we cut them. And this actually made like 35, so it's a lot. So let's go ahead and do the next step, which you're going to need some flour. I have my flour here. I'm just going to get one cup of flour. And that's all you need. It's flour. And you're going to put it in a separate thing, obviously. And yeah, make a mess everywhere, of course. Make the mess. And after you get your flour, you want your seasonings. I'm going to use garlic powder, onion powder, and cayenne pepper. So I'm just going to season it up a little bit because I like my stuff seasoned. Oh, what the heck? The fan is going over. And you guys, I know it looks like a lot, but for some reason, when it, with the flour, it just goes away. That was a lot. That was a lot. That was a lot. I'm just paying it down. I have a fan going because it's hot already. I think it's going that way. The fan blowing, guys. It's the fan. And my camera person is like not focused on the middle section pretty much what you're gonna do is just put your spices in there whatever spices you want to use we don't measure here sometimes we do not all the time and you can actually taste the flour if you really wanted to I taste it and it tastes good it tastes all right so let's put some salt just a tiny bit all right, and so after you do this, make sure you mix it well. And what you're gonna do is just coat your hot wings really quick. I forgot to mention that you guys should actually have your oil ready. This is ready to go. So once I am coating the chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and pop them over here. But here's the flour ready. I'm gonna get a wing, dip it in there really quick. You don't need to do a lot. And then that's it. Put them over there. And you're just gonna do this to everything it have to be overly coated that's what i'm gonna say so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do all these and they're all gonna look like this at the end i'll be right back all right guys so here goes the oil and the wing you're just gonna put them in there you see it's ready and we're gonna just make them golden brown flip them around when they're ready to flip around i'll come show you when they are ready to be flipped around but that's all you do. Okay, right, guys, so here they go. I think they're ready to get turned. They don't look so pretty, but it's going to taste so delicious. Not to brown on the other side. Alright, guys, so here they go right here. I like my extra crispy, ain't gonna lie. So I do crisp them up a little bit more. But cook them to your guys' preference. Just make sure they're cooked, so. And yeah, so now I'm gonna put them here. 
And I have all these to pick, and I'll be back when they're all done. So now you're gonna get a little can, soft can, and you're gonna need some butter. And we're gonna use Frank's Red Hot, so whatever you choose to use, two tablespoons of it. And you're just gonna put it in here. And you're just gonna put your sauce in there. Um, it might be like a cup and a half in there. And you're just gonna let that melt and get warm. And after that is warm and melted, I'll come back. All right, guys, so this is done boiling right here. As you can see, I'm gonna put it on low really quick. And what you're pretty much gonna do is get your wings. This is how I do it. You can do it different, it doesn't matter, but this is how I do it, like I said. And then just transfer them to wherever you're gonna need to do them. So, this is the buffalo wing. Now let's show you the next sauce. All right, so now we're making barbecue sauce and how I, you could just put the barbecue sauce if you want to, to do that, if you want to do that, but I don't. I get butter. This is like one tablespoon probably because I only have a little bit of barbecue sauce anyway, but I'm only making a few of them barbecue sauce because not everybody likes barbecue. So you get your barbecue sauce that you like, we use this one, and we're going to pour it with this, and yeah, like I said, we only have a little bit, you would want more, but use what you got, it's fine for me. I do like to spice up my barbecue sauce, I'm actually going to add a little bit of Frank's Red Hot. Oh, some onion powder, just a little bit like that, since I only have a little bit. And a little bit of garlic powder. Yeah, so there goes the barbecue sauce. And let me tell you, we need that just step makes it that much better. And you just dip your wings in here. Okay. Now, I'll be back to show you the next sauce. The last sauce that I'm going to make is a lemon pepper sauce and you're gonna need some butter, of course. And I'm just gonna, I don't use no measurements. I'm just winging it, <laughs> winging it. <laughs> no, no, okay, no. Okay, never mind. Not to, so I think I'm just gonna use this whole butter. Oh well, this isn't the recipe that you wanna use if you're trying to lose weight because we ain't trying to lose weight here. You know what I mean? So. I'm just guessing. I'm going with my taste buds. I'm going to taste it. So I put all this butter here. And you're going to get lemon. Squeeze it. Oh, shoot. Squeeze it. That's not that much. So I'm going to get another one. And just squeeze the lemon in there. Okay. And of course, you're going to need your pepper. You want to put like a teaspoon maybe or I don't know. Let's see. Let's just see how it... Let me see. I'm just going to add a little bit of onion. Just a little bit. And a little bit of garlic. Let me make sure not... Look at the holes on this so I forget that I need to be gentle with that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let this... No, I'm actually going to give it a taste. Oh, taste it. I'm actually going to taste it really quick to see how it tastes. Okay, so I need, I need some more pepper. This stupid thing, I'm, I'm going to have to use the other side. I don't like using this other side, but... Okay. gonna go ahead and let this start boiling up and after that happens I'm gonna go ahead and dip the last wings in here. Let me actually taste it one more time please. I'm actually gonna go ahead and add a bit more pepper. So here it goes, you can see that it's starting to boil up. And what I have learned with this is that you have to be quick with it. I recommend that you make this sauce right when you're gonna dip them. You can't really let it sit out as much as the barbecue or the hot sauce, the Frank's hot sauce. 
just because this will eventually just um what's the word what's that word when you dry up dry up what there's actually evaporate there you go it, it will evaporate so i'm gonna go like i said just work fast when you're doing this and you just dip them like that like the other one but work fast all right I like to do is whatever sauce is left over I just pour it over whatever ones you made I did this with all of them that I made today so yeah look at that butter we're gonna clean that up before we add the rest of them and here they go right here guys here goes the Frank's Red Hot lemon peppers and the barbecue we're gonna go ahead and enjoy these and they're gonna be so delicious we actually have some pizza here going on but these are simple to make, you guys don't need a video on that, but make these, they're so delicious, I promise you. It's And it's only easy to make, it's not that hard. I mean, it is a little bit of time, but they're worth it. So we're gonna actually go ahead and enjoy it, because we're starving, we're starving. Okay, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, bye.